What is going on? Well, here's what's going on. When Jesus went to the cross, the disciples, though they had heard for years that he would be crucified, assumed that he was going to take over the Roman Empire, take over the government of Jerusalem and be crowned king of Israel. The cross, even though he had told them again and again and again, he even had to remind them after he rose from the dead that they didn't believe what he said. They were devastated. If Trump had won, you see, it's not just prophets that are saying he's going to have a second term, Sid. They're experts saying it. They're people that have reliable track records that are saying, look, you need to understand what's going on here. This thing is not over. This thing has not been decided. There are many, many votes that have been hidden, that are being found. There's stuff going on that we're, that we're going to talk about. But one of the things is that they didn't understand that the cross was necessary and the resurrection was necessary. We dodged a bullet, ladies and gentlemen. We dodged a bullet. The Democrat plan, big tech's plan, the liberal media's plan was to uproot the American system and put another system in place. That monster would have still been there if it was kept underground through a Trump victory. This forcing it into the court is causing an investigation to uncover corruption that we never imagined. They, th this is a moment of God's reprieve and mercy on the United States. And I think we're going to understand later. You know, the day of the election, Sid, I woke up and the Holy Spirit said, something's going to happen tonight that you're not ready for. I said, Lord, what is it? It's not going to turn out like you think. And when you do see it, don't be shaken because there's going to be a surprise. And to me, a portion of the surprise at this moment is that we have uncovered a layer of corruption that is beyond anything we could have imagined. You know, people say, is there voter fraud? Well, let me ask a question. Rather than to level the accusation, let me ask a question. When city after city barricaded Republican pollsters from going in and observing the vote, what does that tell you? If The whole was, world realizes there's fraud involved. Yes, and that's why I think it's essential right now for the child of God, not only to not lose heart, but to realize in, in a very real sense, November 5th is the perfect day for us. The, November 5th in England is the celebration of when conspiracies were uncovered. And Isn't it, that a God coincidence? <laughs> it, it can't be a coincidence. And November 5th, they, they even have a poem. Remember, remember the 5th of November when explosives were placed under Parliament in 1605 to destroy the, the liberty of England. It, how is that not a parallel? Even the movie Vendetta, which was a movie that referenced November, the 5th of November. It's revolutionary. They're talking about it. And look what's happening. The hand of God is exposing his enemy, exposing the nearest that we have come since the Civil War to losing our freedom, ladies and gentlemen. But instead, God has thrown this election into the courts so that corruption could be exposed. And for your children and your grandchildren, this is a great mercy. It is not a defeat. And, and you told me two things before we went live, uh, and, and that was uh, about the Virginia which we thought for sure Trump was going to win in the early yeah. stages uh, and, yeah. and, and the watermark. But I'll let you explain those things. First of all, they, uh, I got a report that they found 100,000 Trump votes in Virginia that they didn't know anything about. They hadn't been counted. Second of all, I have an acquaintance in the Department of Defense, and I can't tell you who he is or what. But he told me, he sent me a text. He said, I believe that before December, Trump will be announced as the winner because the Homeland Security put watermarks on the valid ballots, something that the left did not know anything about. Our president is a genius. And uh, I have a feeling that we're going to see a surprise. Now, 
How much of this is going to totally materialize? I'm not going to go on record, but I will go on record as telling all of you, the hand of God is in this situation. 